There is a reason why the agitation for this protest is gaining a lot of momentum and a lot of attention from the federal government. Let's not forget that Shehu Sani once said, Mr. President, there are some people who are still in detention as a result of the NSAS protest. There were young people who were protesting for justice, for freedom, and for democracy. Any young protester in Nigeria today learn from you because you were the father of protest in Nigeria. Do something about it, give them the freedom. You taught us, you funded us to stand up and fight. So they are your children and your grandchildren. Give them the pardon. And this is the reason why every Nigerian ought to be on the streets to protest for good governance. You know, what the governor of Imo State, I mean the current governor of Imo State, said recently could be right, but then I have a control opinion. Well, democracy is about opinion of the people. And the protest is allowed in a democratic setting. But every protest must be reasonably conceived to be able to make political sense. There have not been any engagement where those who are sponsoring the protest was able to tell us the reasons for the protest. Secondly, given the global situation today and the insecurity in the country, we have a very fragile political environment that if not managed and protected very well, may collapse the entire country. So those who are going to protest, what is the reason for the protest? So it is true that Yes, you know, having to protest at this point in time may change a lot of things, do you understand, when it comes to the status quo. And that is what the politicians are scared of. Imagine the other day we, there was a publication about the salary being earned by the National Assembly members and they were so agitated during the plenary section. But if you are not receiving this amount of money, why don't you publish exactly what you are actually receiving in the first place? so that it could actually put that into rest. But then, hell no. The reason why this all is happening, like the president said, that he has done everything necessary and Nigerians should please give him some time to, put, to, to, to turn around the situation of the country that it is not necessary to put this right now. But I want to take you back the memory lane. In 2011, the election, the presidential election in Nigeria was conducted in April 2011. Good luck, Ebele Jonathan, assuming office for the first time after contesting election as the president of Nigeria. Remember, after contesting election because the previous one was actually completing the tenure of Musa Yaradua. So, having contested for the election in 2011, he was sworn in, in May 29th as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. But being the 15th president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria didn't go down well with so many quarters. You know, a South Southerner, and then the manner at which he came into power, seeing how the Northern just lost, a, you know, someone. So now, on the 2nd of January 2012, Monday to be precise, there was the social economic group which we call the Occupy Nigeria protest. This protest was because of the fuel subsidy remover of which took fuel from 65 Naira to 115 Naira. This protest lasted for weeks, for days, and everywhere was turned around. Good luck Ebele Jonathan have not done one year in office. Remember, he was sworn in May. So January 2nd, Monday, the protest kick started. And everywhere was, was turned upside down and the pressure mounted. The fuel price now came down to 87 Naira. So looking at now the APC folks, who were the other one? Remember the video I played to you about Shehu Sani talking about how Tinibu sponsored them in protest. Now you could now agree with me that the reason why they are so much agitating and is getting a lot of attention for this particular protest is because of the fact that they don't know who is sponsoring it. 
And that was the reason why Bayo Noge, seeing very well that Peter Obi, you know, caught the attention of majority of Nigeria and arguable the winner of the 2023 general election according to the APC, but you know, according to most Nigerians, he won that election. So when you look at that carefully, you will understand that that was the reason why Bayo Noge was po pointing a kissing finger on Peter Obi to be the one sponsoring this planned August 1st protest. But when you look at all of this, maybe you might have not read this book. Um, Fighting Corruption is Dangerous. This is a story by Ngozi Kojowel, the former minister of uh, uh, economy under Jonathan's administration. So if you get this book, <laughs> you may understand some things that I'm saying here. And everything just happened that the protest started on the 2nd of January, which was Monday, 22 12. And now they are saying you shouldn't protest. This is because they have been sponsoring protests. And now it happens that everybody who normally sponsor protests in the past are now currently in one political party. Peter will be in his usual will will not engage the government in such a manner. A tickle from the other side is more like a Libra. It's not a Buhari kind of a politician who can say we will not agree. Because if he's that kind of politician, he would have challenged Buhari in 2019. And as well, do the same in 2023. But he chose to, you know, he's more like a civilized kind of person compared to some of those APC folks. And then look at it down the line. When you look at all the opposition, do they look like people that would call for protest? No, except Sowore. So, and Sowore is not this person that could have been able to cause this, you know, attention in the whole country right now, according to many political spectrum. So, it is now obvious that Nigerians are now tired because the fuel subsidy that was removed on the 29th of May 2023, the presidential yachts, the five billion for the presidential for the president's wife, among so many frivolous, you know, attempts. What about the, the 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 vice presidential house that was built, you know, for billions of naira? What about the recent uh, presidential jet that was purchased, among so many? The Hajj, which was sponsored for ninety billion, even in the midst of all the economic hardship and all of that, among so many money that have been wasted. Even the building of the library, the car park in the National Assembly budgeted for over 6 million naira. When you look at all of this, Nigerians are now saying no. The, the, the way and manner in which these people are spending money and squandering this money, it is what they call total bad governance. And for that reason, we say no. And we protest against this and we stop this at all levels. And that is the reason why they are finding it very difficult. Who are those planning? Who are those that are the leaders? Because you need somebody to hold responsible, to have a conversation for. Remember in the past, people can come out to protest and then the government can know, you know, in, in some cases, they can just share some money and then everything is just fizzled out. But this time around, it is not like that. You cannot point out to who or who is sponsoring, who and who is the leader. It is the collective call of the whole country to say no to bad governance. So if Nigerians are to protest 14 months after the uh, Tinibu's administration you know, took off, and when you compare that to the Gulatan administration, who, who is to blame here? I mean, who is more wicked and you know, who is doing better here? When you look at the two situations, the Nigerian people are not asking for too much. They are not saying that you should um, turn around everything, all the roads in Nigeria should be constructed under one year. No. Cut down cost of governance. Stop making useless policies and decisions. And then listen to the cry and the, and the, you know, the yearning of the people. For that reason, there will be no one agitating to protest. I've seen Wiki saying that this is a political motivated protest. Um, is it a political motivated pride, you know, of Gary, of rice, of uh, um, corn in the market? No. Uh, if, but if you say they are politically motivated, like they said, that it is the opposition that is even causing the high um, um, cost of food in the market and and uh, you know commodity but the question here is this who removed the first subsidy 
who, who, who removed it? Is it not the government? And then when you look at the insecurity, which is the major cost of the food inflation that we're having in Nigeria, they don't want to tackle it. They keep on sharing money, keep on giving bags of rice. It will not solve the issue. Go to the fundamental. And the fundamental is the insecurity that is ravaging around our community, around Nigeria. When you are able to reduce it to the minimal level, Farmers cannot return back to farm. No one will be get, uh, woman will get kidnapped or killed while trying to farm. The headers will not use their cattle to destroy farmland. Then we will not be having what we're having today. And this is the reason why they are scared. Because, like they said, Nigeria will not be in peace if this protest happened. Because it may be hijacked, just like answers. Answers to many was hijacked by the government. So this is like a warning to Nigerians already that the government is already preparing to hijack the planned protest. So be wise as you go out to protest. That is what they are trying to say, or what the Imo governor is right to say, because um, uh, the government it is obvious to the blind and audible to the deaf that it is high time we demand for good governance. But then remember, the politicians will not back out. This is actually the government of the world falling apart. But then, we cannot say much if we're not ready to actually change even ourselves. What do you make of all this? Service commission in the comment section. Thank you for watching.